Hello, today I'm going to show you how to use Hachi to install RetroArt on the Sega Genesis Mini. Think of RetroArt as a platform or an app where you can install all kinds of different emulators ranging from Atari to the Sega Saturn and every console in between. As you can see, I have Sega Genesis Mini on the right side, the Hachi software open on the left side of my screen. We can tell that my Sega Genesis Mini is connected to my PC because of the green light on the lower left corner of Hachi. So to start, go to Hachi and click on Modules up at the menu bar and click on KMFD's Mod Hub. Go to KFMD RetroArt tab. We want to install RetroArt. Now it doesn't matter which one of the three you select here, the only difference between the three is the wallpaper, as you can see in the preview. I like RetroArt Extreme Ozone, so I'm going to select that, but the choice is up to you. Once you have your selection, press Download and Install Module. As we can see, the Sega Mini will reboot throughout this process. Once done, go to KMFD Cores tab and browse through the different emulators, also known as cores, that you want to install. You may notice there are multiple cores for each console. Some of these cores work better than others for certain ROMs. I'm going to show you some of the more popular cores that works on the Sega Mini. For the Game Boy Color, the Game Bat core will be the best option. For the Game Boy Advance, and you got two options here, GPSP or MGBA. Both work well. GPSP is built for more speed, while MGBA allows for more customization. However, GPSP requires BIOS files, which you have to find yourself. Nintendo 64, none of the cores is going to work well, but Mupin 64 Plus is your best bet. For the NES, pick NES Topia or FCEU MM Core. Then for the Super Nintendo, the SNES 9X 2010, but the 2002 and 2005 SNES 9X also works. It really depends on the game and if you are using ROM hacks, as each of these cores will offer a different experience. For this video, I'm going to install the Stella Core to play my Atari 2600 ROMs. For all other game consoles, and to see if it can even be played on a Sega Genesis Mini, check out my website, SegaMiniMods.com, that I have link in the description below. It will list the best RetroArt cores for each system. So once you found your core, you need to press download and install module to install it. Now this will take a while, and your Sega Genesis Mini will restart. Once done, exit out of KMFD Mod Hub and go back to the Hachi main page. We can now click on Add More Games and then add your ROMs. Next, you have to assign the core to run the selected ROM. Highlight the ROM you added. Right click it and click Select Emulation Core. Highlight your ROM, then select the correct console and core. Now hit apply then close. Since I only have one core, Hachi automatically applies it for me. But if you have multiple cores, make sure each ROM is assigned their correct core, otherwise your ROM won't load. Hachi also allowed us to pick the type of spine art and cover art for the ROM. We can pick it by clicking on spine and then selecting the art that we want. To change the game icon for when we are selecting it in our Sega Mini, click on Google. Now if you have your own images, then you, could, you can select Browse, but I don't, so I'm going to hit Synchronize Select Games with Mini. If you have multiple ROMs, you have to do this for each one. When the process is finished, go into your Sega Genesis Mini and scroll all the way down till you hit the icon More Games. 
Click on your ROM icon. RetroArt will automatically launch the game. If you need to exit the game or select another game, you have to press the reset button on the Sega Mini to bring up the main menu. So if you find this inconvenient, we can actually assign the RetroArt main menu to our controller instead of hitting the reset button on the mini console. First, press the back button to go back and go down to settings. Go to input and scroll all the way down to hotkey binds. You can scroll through the list of options to assign the menu, but not every option is going to be applicable on the Sega Mini Controller. You can see that I pick down plus select, but the choice is up to you. Getting to this main menu is a convenient way of switching to another ROM or just going back to the Sega Genesis uh, Mini home screen. If you need more storage for all the emulators you install, or want to change the layout of your home screen, then check out my other videos. Just a reminder for those who prefer to have a written guide, to check out my website, segaminimods.com. It's a simple step-by-step -step guide with picture that goes over everything we cover in this video and much more. So once again, thank you so much for watching.